نحمده و نسلی علی رسوله الكریم اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Dear brothers and sisters, today I came with a video in which we will respond to your allegation, actually one allegation you can say, out of few allegations, which uh, was raised by Maulvi Muhammad Imtiaz, the anti Ahmadiyya Maulvi, and a researcher, or a Christian researcher, Declan Henry. <clears throat> Today I saw a video where anti Ahmadiyya Maulvi Muhammad Imtiaz, who never afraid to swear on the name of Allah and speak lies against the Ahmadiyya community. And it has been proved by me and many other Ahmadi brothers. And I presented the video where I asked him, swear on the name of Allah, you are telling the truth. He swear on the name of Allah and speak lies against the Ahmadiyya community. Both of the, these people was, were meeting in a park where Imtiaz asked a non-Muslim Christian, Declan Henry, do you know or any of your pastor know Ahmadiyya believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the second coming of of Jesus or Messiah, you can say, who was promised in the later days, and that Christian said no. Let's listen the clip first, and then we will respond that part. He's the author of a book as well. But true, but I come from you know, a, yeah. a, a, a true rich Catholic background. Any priest, priest bishop, any priest oh, yeah. or bishop, okay? Yeah, yeah. Who knew, who knew that Mirza Ghulam Qadiani was the second coming of Isa ibn Maryam? Look, I mean, they are saying that their Jamaat is... I doubt it, most of them have never heard of him. Allah. Now, guys, listen. How deliberately he is lying on the Jamaat-e Ahmadiyya. It is the one of the biggest lies of the time. And no one know in these countries we Ahmadis believe Jesus was not a God. He was not a son of God. On, he was just a messenger of God. And he died like other prophets. And he was not died on a cross. That we Ahmadiyya Muslim believes. And Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad salam, is the Messiah and the Mahdi of the later days. Now I'll show the hypocrisy of that person, especially Maulvi Muhammad Imtiaz and Declan Henry. Now listen his question, which he's asking to Mr. Basit, ba Basit Sahib a few weeks ago, what he is asking him. Um. Can you tell me, how do you respond to claims that your community is a cult and that it brainwashes people into believing that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the promised Messiah? As you guys listen, that person knows very well, we believe the Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the promised Messiah. What does it mean? We don't know English. Or do, do he don't know the meaning of Messiah? So my viewers, you can understand how big are these people, liars and hypocrites. Now I'll show you a few clips of Canada Jamaat, the Jamaat Ahmadiyya Muslima Canada, where my young brothers are holding banners, and these banners are not the small banners; these are the very big banners, and they are spreading the leaflets and raising the slogan messiah has come messiah has come now i'll show you one of the documentary which is presented by the community how my brothers are spreading that message in the downtown toronto area and the, in every part of the other canada in every part of canada we are spreading that message and we are spreading that message same likely in all over the world. Ooh, so
One of the most important duties of Muslims is to call people towards Allah as Allah the Almighty states in the Holy Quran and who is better in speech than he who invites men to Allah and does good works and says I am surely of those who submit. Fulfilling this very mission, thousands of Ansar, Khuddam and Atfal have come out in various cities across Canada for the Messiah has come to believe day. <laughs> Today we are present in the vibrant heart of downtown Toronto where members of the community are passionately spreading the message of the coming of the Messiah. This campaign is essentially happening all across Canada and Khudam are out there with their signs and spreading this message in the core areas all across Canada. There's 50 plus Khudam that are in downtown Barrie, there's Khudam in downtown Bradford, downtown Windsor, downtown London. We have Khudam that will be in Ottawa, in Montreal, all the way in Vancouver. And our hope and our aim is to spread the message and awareness to as many Canadians as we can. And our message is consistent. On one side we have the Messiah has come, on the other side, love for all, hatred for none. That's our message and we're hoping that it reaches as many Canadians as possible. Various strategies have been employed to spread the message ranging from signs to extensive city-wide advertisements alongside traditional methods like distributing leaflets. Now I'll show you the another video as well. So you can understand how strongly we are spreading that message. The Messiah has come. Fifteen, Majlis Qudam Alhamdiya Canada, Mississauga East, started a Tablig initiative in downtown Toronto, where 30 Qudam came together to spread the message of the promised Messiah alayhi salam. The main message of this campaign was, the Messiah has come. So guys, as I showed you, only two clips, if you go on the Google, Google and type Messiah has come, 
go and type on the YouTube, Messiah has come, you'll see many videos, many documents where we are publishing that the Messiah has come with a very strong and bold message. People don't like us. And rather than speaking the truth, they speak lies against us. And that's their reality because they cannot survive without lying on us. Thank you so much. Jazakumullah Wasnal Jaza. Please spread the message to other peoples. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.